Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now, as always, guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now, let's talk about Ryan Garcia, somebody who has been inactive since January of last year. So it's, it's been a year, actually, since he's been in the ring. Very impressive performance it was. I mean, it was his toughest test to date against Luke Campbell. Uh, we know him pretty well over these sides. And uh, yeah, Ryan Garcia winning that fight by knockout. On the verge of really breaking it into the superstar the market, I believed with his ability, his talent, and you know the fact that he had defeated Luke Campbell the way he did, coming off the canvas to knock Luke Campbell out, it was a very impressive win in my opinion. And you know he was set for superstardom really, or on the road to superstardom. Let's say, you know he's a part of this lightweight division where you've got a lot of young bucks in there who we're building up as I don't want to say the word, but. We're building them up as, you know, they could be the stars of the future. And Ryan Garcia was amongst that pack for sure. Now, he's been very inactive since then, obviously. He's had fights scheduled. He's, um, you know, he's pissed a lot of people off with some of the things that he's been saying on Instagram. People call him the social media king and everything else. But yeah, he's pulled out of fights. You know, he cited his mental health. And, you know, it's been, it's a difficult topic to get into because, you never really know how somebody really is feeling and if somebody is going through something then you know they need to use all the, the right support channels to, to get them through it so listen um it's good to hear now that ryan garcia is looking to return to the ring in april of this year i think he said april the second he's looking to mark his return back to the ring and you know i've been a critic of him in, in the past i've not liked some of the stuff i've seen from him on social media I'll go into it, like the one with Javante Davis, for example, where he was calling him out, saying that, you know, we need to fight, we need to fight. If you don't fight me next, you're this and that, and I'm ready for the fight, let's do it next, it has to be next. And then, you know, he just pulled out of that, believed he was gonna fight Pacquiao, that never materialized. And then, you know, he just shat, sat on the shelf for the rest of the year. So, it's like I said, it's good to hear that now, you know, he's overcoming these sort of issues that he's had, and he's looking to return in the ring this April. I'm not sure who the opponent is. I know that they were looking at Isaac Cruz, but or Isaac Cruz, apologies, but he apparently has priced himself out of a fight, according to Golden Boy. So I'm not sure who the next opponent will be. They're saying that Isaac Cruz could also be a bit too much of a heavy, a, a bit of a heavy touch for your first fight back after a year, they're saying. So it could be somebody else. But I, I just think for Ryan Garcia now, he's 23 years old. He needs to get back in the ring and, you know, the potential is there. Do you know what I mean? We, we know he's got ability. We know he's got talent. And like I said, I think that that's why I've been a critic of him because I know what sort of ability he's got and I know the potential that he could get to, but he's just not fulfilling it at the moment in terms of getting in the ring and fighting. There's a lot of outside of the ring distractions with him, uh, with his girlfriend for one of them. And even his, stable, even his stable mate Canelo Alvarez came out and said that Ryan Garcia needs to focus on the game more and be more professional. So when Canelo's saying that, you know that it's not me hating or anybody else hating. It's literally what we're seeing in front of our eyes. This guy has got all the ability in the world. He's got all the talent. Let's see him put it to action, man. Now, one thing we hate is seeing the talent go to waste. And Ryan Garcia has got that. So let's see what happens, man. I'm not sure who the opponent is, but he said that he's looking to fight three times this year. You know, a lot of boxers like to say that they'd want to fight three times in a year. Uh, rarely nowadays you don't get many boxers I mean at the top level that fight three times a year unless your name's Canelo Alvarez uh, Conor Ben actually did last year but not many people at that level get to fight as many times as they'd like during the year so you know if Ryan Garcia was able to get out in the ring three times this year you know it's a good look it gets him back on track and I haven't checked the lightweight rankings recently, but I know he must be in a solid position really to challenge for one of the world titles so listen Let's see what happens in April, who the opponent is. I'm not expecting it to be, you know, a heavy hitter, so to speak. I'm guessing it's just going to be like a real fight just to get him back into it. And then maybe towards the end of the year, we could see him in there against the likes of a Trevante Davis, which would be huge. It would be absolutely huge that fight would be in America. And, uh, you know, you've got Devin Haney there. Hopefully he gets that fight with Cambosas. But Ryan Garcia is in the mix. And if he puts his talent to good use, then he could be very well up there. In those, in those you know, rankings and he, he could push himself up to superstardom. We've seen Shakur Stevenson do it and uh, Ryan Garcia has got all the ability in the world. So yeah, let's see, hope he does it. And uh, let me know your thoughts on it guys in the comment section below. Who would you like to see Ryan Garcia next? Do you even believe 
that he will be out in April because he said a lot of things, Ryan Garcia, and they have not materialised, especially recently. That's why people call him the social media king because he says a lot and he hasn't been putting it into action recently. But let's hope that, you know, these rumours about him coming back in April are true and we do get to see him back in the ring. Whether you like him or not, you do have to say that he does have a lot of talent. So let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.